Hi everybody, good morning. In this video I'm going to show you a quick little thing I learned to do in Python and I'll share the script with you. It's on my GitHub repo and I'll uh, put the link in the description. I'm going to go ahead and just multi-duplicate this little softball here. Just say edit, multi-duplicate, and I'm going to create 49 of them so we end up with 50. But I want to get a little bit of a gap between each of our uh, little softballs, so give that just a second. So that gives us our little uh, kind of line of softballs. Not really sure the use of this, it's just a demo. Now here to me is the problem. To me this should be softball 2, softball 3, etc. So I wrote this little script and I'll share the link in the description of how to do this. But I'm going to just load this little script, select softball the first one, and just say rename props. And I put a progress bar there, but I'm not using it because it's pretty fast. I probably should do a, uh, a lot more, but if you come up here now, all of our little, uh, you know, uh, props are renamed. Now this is assuming you start here. I probably should give you a start at, but you can always take the code and modify it. And if you have any questions on that, I could help you with that if you need it. But I'll go ahead and briefly go through this code. I'll show you the code if you're not a programmer. This is only 61 lines of code, so if you've ever written an Excel macro, it's uh, not much more difficult than that, or probably about the same. So basically, all it, this is kind of the re-illusion code that I found some of their samples and modify it. But this just kind of creates the UI. Here it adds a, you know, the layout, and I get all the props, and this adds them to the uh, little combo box. Now I don't have it doing sub props, so right now you need to take your props and make them uh, you know, on their own, just detach them from their parent. It's on my list to learn how to iterate through the child props of a parent. I haven't figured that out yet, but I'll learn that pretty quickly. And here's the progress bar. I could really delete it, but one of these days I'll probably fill that in. Here's a little text box where it kind of just shows the status after each one is renamed. And here's our button, and that's the method. And all this does here is just add the uh, little, all these different items to our little form, and it shows that window. And we'll go to this rename props, the last part will show. All that does is, is clear the text box, get the prop you selected, and it just kind of shows a little status message that we're beginning the rename process. And here we get the name of the current item in the list. We, excuse me, we want to make sure we're not renaming the source prop so and then here we want to make sure the name contains so like prop uh, parentheses zero you know will will contain prop just to give you that example it's not a very good example but and then here I just do the count which I use as my uh, little for the next variable name be the count plus one because we started at zero I could have started at one there if I thought about it and here you just find the prop, set name, and just a little status message for each prop. And then here we show a status message for how many were renamed. So I thought that was pretty useful. My next goal, I was going to write some things for um, opening doors. I've got a, another script for that I'm going to work on, and then a few others. But let me know if you have any script requests, because I'm trying to get the hang of this. And there's a lot of things I don't know how to do, but I think it's the more... The more I learn this, the more I want to learn more about it because iClone is really slow to do this in a big project that would take a long time and there's some other things that Python can kind of automate. Alright, well I've got to get ready for work and walk my dog. I just wanted to make this quick video. Thanks for watching.